Hi, it's Lisa. In this video, I'd like to point out the flaws that I saw in an article by Chris Gunners of Authority Nutrition. The article is called Six Reasons Why Eggs Are the Healthiest Food on the Planet. So in his introduction, Chris Gunners says, eggs are so nutritious that they're often referred to as nature's multivitamin. They also have unique antioxidants and powerful brain nutrients that many people are deficient in. Here are six reasons why eggs are among the healthiest foods on the planet. Number one, whole eggs are among the most nutritious foods on earth. So the article starts by stating the nutrients that are found in eggs. It's fair to say that eggs have these nutrients, but as I will point out later in this video, it's better to get these nutrients from plant foods. All the nutrients listed in Gunner's article are obtainable through cholesterol-free plant-based foods, with the exception of vitamin B12, which is a bacteria that is found in soil. Vitamin B12 is made by neither animals nor plants, but by microbes. A whole foods plant-based diet can help prevent, treat and reverse many of our leading causes of death. But because of current agricultural practices, it's difficult to obtain vitamin B12 naturally anymore. Before we started destroying the soil and washing things, we used to get it from things like unwashed vegetables and well water. Non-human animals still get some from there, and some from eating their own feces. It can also be found in dead animals, because they get some from the soil and farmers inject them with it. But since B12 can be destroyed by some forms of heating, meat, dairy and eggs aren't necessarily a reliable source. Meat and egg eaters, as well as vegans, can be deficient in this vitamin because of absorption issues. Correcting vitamin B12 deficiency is not simply a matter of eating animal source foods. If one egg has only 9% of the recommended daily intake of vitamin B12, it is reasonable to say that it is not a reliable source, as you would have to eat 11 eggs to get the recommended daily intake, or eat other animal source foods on the same day, or supplement. Getting vitamin B12 from food is not a guarantee that you are getting enough of the vitamin and absorbing it. To be sure that you're getting enough of the vitamin, you will need to supplement or have injections and have blood tests to make sure that your levels are not too low. His second point is that eggs improve your cholesterol profile and do not raise your risk of cardiovascular disease. The thing is, many studies show that eggs actually improve your cholesterol profile. Eggs tend to raise HDL, the good cholesterol, and they tend to change the LDL, the bad cholesterol, to a large subtype, which is not associated with an increased risk of heart disease. Gunnis is right to say that eggs are loaded with cholesterol, but he is wrong in saying that eggs will not raise bad cholesterol in the blood. Eggs may improve your cholesterol profile only if you are not eating a high carbohydrate plant-based diet. Those who eat purely plant-based in the long term have the best cholesterol profiles, with a total cholesterol of under 150 mg per deciliter, making them heart attack proof. This is something that those on a low carb diet that is based on animal source foods cannot match. As long as you are still eating animal source foods, including eggs, you are at risk for a heart attack. With this in mind, let's have a look at the studies that Gunners links to. Gunners links to several studies funded by the egg industry. Notice how references 2, 3, 4, and 5 are studies written by Fernandez, who is known to have been paid to conduct studies to show the so-called benefits of eggs. But let's see what the studies show. Reference 2 is dietary cholesterol provided by eggs and plasma lipoproteins in healthy populations. This is not a study, but a review written by Fernandez. It notes that 70% of the population experiences a mild increase or no alterations in plasma cholesterol when challenged with high amounts of dietary cholesterol. This is a misleading statement that some might take to mean that the dietary cholesterol in eggs is not harmful. However, consider the fact that most of the American population eats a diet that is already rich in saturated fat and cholesterol. Adding more saturated fat and cholesterol to a diet that is already dangerously high in these nutrients will have little or no effect. Fernandez says that egg intake can promote the formation of large LDL, which is less atherogenic. Large LDL is still atherogenic. In this study, it shows that in men, there is a 31% increased risk of cardiovascular disease for large LDL particles instead of 44% for small LDL particles. And in this study, it shows that there is a 44% raised risk of cardiovascular disease for large LDL instead of 63% risk for small LDL for women. Therefore, the focus needs to be on eliminating the risk rather than simply reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease, and the consumption of eggs doesn't fit into the elimination of the risk. 
Gunners then references studies that show the effect of the consumption of eggs on a low carbohydrate diet. Reference 3 is Eggs distinctly modulate plasma, carotenoid and lipoprotein subclasses in adult men following a carbohydrate restricted diet. This study is more about the effect of a low calorie, low carb diet than about the effects of eggs. This study was about subjects who lost weight following a carb restricted diet. When people lose weight, their blood profile improves. One of the objectives of the study was to evaluate whether carb restriction and egg intake would affect lipoprotein size. Carbohydrate restriction, which is also calorie restriction because subjects generally don't like to eat a lot of calories on a low carb diet, decreased small LDL. It also results in an increase in larger LDL for all subjects, with the egg group having a greater increase in larger LDL. This study doesn't prove that eggs are harmless, only that they increase the amount of large LDL in your blood if you are on a low carb, low calorie diet. However, compared to other diets, a low carb diet, particularly one that is based on animal source foods, is linked with a greater increase in mortality. So it's not a diet that you would want to follow. Reference 4 is dietary cholesterol from eggs increases plasma HDL cholesterol in overweight men consuming a carbohydrate restricted diet. Again, this is a study done on subjects consuming low carb diets, which would have also been high in other fats. The fundamental flaw in the study is that they measured fasting lipid levels at night and not levels throughout the day after egg consumption. I would also like to point out an important 2010 review about eggs in the Canadian Journal of Cardiology. As soon as you eat one egg, you expose your body to several hours of oxidative stress, inflammation of one's arteries, endothelium impairment, which keeps your blood from running smoothly, and increases the susceptibility of LDL cholesterol to oxidize, which is the beginning stage of heart disease. The authors go into great detail regarding dietary cholesterol. Diet is not just about fasting cholesterol, it is mainly about the postprandial effects of cholesterol, saturated fats, oxidative stress and inflammation. A misplaced focus on fasting lipids obscures three key issues. One, dietary cholesterol increases the susceptibility of LDL to oxidation. Two, increases postprandial lipemia. And three, potentiates the adverse effects of dietary saturated fat. Dietary cholesterol, including egg yolks, is harmful to the arteries. Patients at risk of cardiovascular disease should limit their intake of cholesterol. And who is not at risk? In our opinion, stopping egg consumption after a myocardial infarction or stroke would be like quitting smoking after lung cancer is diagnosed. A necessary act, but late. Gunners goes on in his article to say that multiple studies have examined the effects of egg consumption on the risk of cardiovascular disease and found no association between the two. Gunners references another three studies. Reference six is a meta-analysis of prospective cohort studies and reference 7 is a prospective study where people are recalling their food intake rather than being in a controlled setting. As I mentioned earlier, adding more saturated fat and cholesterol to a diet that is already dangerously high in these nutrients will have little or no effect. Some of the people studied were diabetic and there was an increased risk of coronary artery disease as Gunners points out later in his article. Reference 8 is an article from British Egg Industry Council and links to supporting research papers. Reference 8 is a review written in 2006 and is likely referring to studies similar to the ones I've discussed, where cholesterol isn't raised significantly because people being studied are not eating purely plant-based diets in the first place. Gunners goes on in his article to say that some studies do show an increased risk of cardiovascular disease in diabetic patients. This needs further research though and probably doesn't apply on a low-carb diet which can in many cases reverse type 2 diabetes. Gunners then links to two studies and one commentary by Eric Westman that are supposed to show that a low-carb diet reverses type 2 diabetes. But even if the low-carb diet reverses type 2 diabetes, it doesn't prove the increased risk of cardiovascular disease doesn't apply. Gunners' bottom line is that studies show that eggs actually improve the cholesterol profile. They raise HDL, the good cholesterol, and increase the size of LDL particles, which should lower the risk of heart disease. A less misleading bottom line for Gunner's second point would be that studies show that eggs improve the cholesterol profile only when people are eating a calorie-restricted diet 
or not eating purely plant-based. It is likely that the cholesterol profile was improved because of the calorie restriction rather than the egg consumption. To be heart attack proof, it's best to eliminate eggs from the diet as well as other animal sourced foods and eat a high carb, low fat, plant-based diet based also on the research of Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn who has reversed heart disease with a purely plant-based diet high in carbs from whole plant foods. Gunner's third point is that eggs are loaded with choline, an important nutrient for the brain.